Hi everybody, how are you today? This is Carrie Ann with Stampin' on the Bright Side. And I'm so happy you could join me today. I have an adorable 3D project that I wanna share with you. It is especially great right now while we're working to share sunshine. Um, if you did not get in on the, um, the, the uh, sorry, the paper pumpkin sharing sunshine, I think yesterday was the last day for that. Um, that's okay because um, you can get in on the July paper pumpkin still. Just go to my page, carrieandkinky.stampinup.net, and go ahead and sign up for paper pumpkin to see what the next project's going to bring. But in the meantime, we have lots of options um, for paper uh, colors, bright yellows and oranges, and things that you can, uh, there's a variety of projects that you can apply this paper to, things that you can make for people to still share sunshine. Um, you don't have to do that paper pumpkin. You can use lots of different things. Um, so anyway, this is a 3D project. This is the Share Sunshine that I made. So my upline, Lisa Marie, had a retreat this weekend. And we usually do table gifts. And my table gift um, was this box. There were several different papers. I think this, <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. I was trying to hold that sneeze, but it just will not stay. <laughs> um, so this paper was from Butterfly Gala, I believe. It's Daffodil Delight. Um, I had some other papers. So I had a pack of paper. I don't know what it's called anymore. Um, but it was all Whisper White, but had some embossing on it. And I used um, the Pineapple Punch. Uh, I sponge brayered paper, Pineapple Punch. Let me see if I can find it. Um, here it is. So I had lots of different yellows. Um, I had the um, in color, the, out, the outgoing in colors. I had some of that paper, so I used this on some of them. Um, this, I did not use this one, but I used one that's kind of like mermaid scales with this coloring. And this was sponge brayer. This was all white. And this is this was embossed on it. And then I did several that were in this pattern. I don't remember where this pack came from. Um, it's retired. So I just pulled a lot of my yellow papers that were retired. So today I'm going to focus on the new in color bumblebee our new yellow um it's very similar to um well, let me think very similar to crushed curry but just a little bit different it's just a tiny bit i want to say brighter but it's not really brighter it's just different um still beautiful so i did white boxes i originally was going to do daffodil delight boxes and um i was out of paper i only had like two sheets of paper and i had to do 38 boxes so I tried it with the white and I really just liked it better. I think it just stood out more. This Hello Sunshine is with our retired Grapefruit Grove. And so I'm going to do Calypso Coral. I'm gonna to try to use as much new product as I possibly can or current product, not necessarily new. Um, so I'm going to be using, well, let's just start with the box. Okay, before I get too far ahead of myself. This is cut at six and a half by five and a half. And we're gonna do some scoring. So let me move this out of the way. We'll revisit it in just a minute if it doesn't tumble off my little Jenga tower of scraps of or, uh, stamping supplies over there. Cords everywhere. My craft room is still a wreck. <laughs> still, I, I got everything unpacked and put away, but um, all this stuff is still out from when I scavenged to find all my supplies in the first place. Hopefully I'll get that taken care of this week. Okay, so on the six and a half inch side, we're gonna, uh, sorry, we're gonna score at half an inch and then two and a half inches, three and a half inches, and then five and a half inches. And we're gonna let this bottom right here be the bottom of the box. So we're gonna just turn it 90 degrees to the right. We're gonna score at one, oops, four, and five. I have no idea if you saw any of that. I hope so. At least some of it. Okay. And so this is the piece that we're going to end up with. And we're going to score, not score, we're going to use the bone folder to really burnish these edges really good. And hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit better. I do have a sample. If I can find where I put it. Here it is. I'll get that. I'll show it to you in just a second. Let's go ahead and do this first. Oops. Oh no, I put a crease in it. But that's okay, because paper will cover that. Pretty paper covers a multitude of sins. Paper crafting sins. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like when we finish cutting it out. So notice that the half inch is over here on this side. So I have the half inch on this side. Um, I'm left-handed, but I cut right-handed. So I'm going to turn it and have it on the right-hand side. So notice we don't need any of this here or this here. So I'm cutting that off. 
I'm going to go ahead and notch in the sides of the flap that I'm keeping. And then I'm just gonna remove everything else, including the um, score. Same thing on this side. Okay. All right, and so that's gonna give us this part, right? Um, I'm going to cut straight down. I'm going to cut at the score. Um, let's see what do I want to do. I want to go ahead and do this first. I'm going to go ahead. I don't need any of this top. I'm only going to keep this part of that top, just this flap. I'm not going to need any of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. I'm going to include the score in that. I don't need any of that. And I'm going to keep, actually I'm going to keep this because this would make a good, this part anyway, would make a good um, sentiment banner. And I'm going to go ahead and cut, um, notch into the sides of these. I'm going to notch in here. I'm not going to cut this part. I'm going to remove this because I don't need this part here. Okay. So I'm going to notch over here on this side and notch the outside of it. And then I'm going to remove this part in the middle. And I can fold. Let's do it this way. Maybe. <laughs> It's a little bit unwieldy sometimes, but it's not that hard. Just make sure you don't get your finger caught. Okay, I'm gonna keep that too. That's good for sen sentiments. Make a little sent, make a little banner. I keep all the scraps. I use a lot of them too. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cut these bottom flaps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the big rectangles um, with squared edges, and we're going to notch in the small the squares. So I'm gonna start by notching in right here. It's not quite all the way up. Okay. And then I'm gonna notch and cut straight. And then I'm gonna cut straight and notch and then notch and cut straight, okay? And that should be all that we need here. There's one more little detail that we need to tend to. Oh goodness, get rid of all my paper scraps. It's so humid here in Florida. They're just sticking to everything. Even I'm, air, I'm in air conditioning. I still can't get it. Okay, so um, the only thing that I can think of off the top of my head that is not current, um, this punch right here, I mean, obviously is very old. You can use any circle punch. I don't usually buy the circle punches anymore. I usually, I use a lot of the layering circles. You can use any circle punch for this. You're just gonna notch out um, a spot right here. Just a little tiny bit. It doesn't require a lot. Just center it really good. Maybe just eyeball it. Okay. Just to help when you go to um, open the flap to get the goodies inside, don't make them fight for it. That's not fun. All right. I'm going to use our detailed triple to round the corners on the flap. I don't know if I got that straight. Yeah. Okay. All right, now I did not cut the paper, so I'm gonna have to cut the paper here on camera. I don't normally do that. So we need paper for the front, the two side panels, and the top. And if you wanna do the back, you can do the back, but I don't. So I picked out several different designs, and this is just from our new paper stack. Um, oh gosh, flower, flower for Every Season, I think is what it's called. I'm gonna look it up. I'm trying to move quickly, and it's not working. It is called yeah, I believe it's called Flowers for Every Season, or a Flower for Every, yeah, Flowers for Every Season. Um, just double checking, Designer Shares Paper, where is it? I don't see it, there it is. Yeah, Flowers for Every Season. And there are lots of designs. And this, for this project, I mean, you could pick anything that you wanted to. I'm just focusing on the yellows. So Flowers for Every Season, there's a little bit of everything in here. It's two-sided, it's six by six. There are a lot of gorgeous colors, a lot of, I mean, it's all the end colors, um, a lot of really pretty papers, but I'm focusing on yellow right now. Whoops, hold on. My Jenga tower just gave way. Okay. <laughs> so, I think I just kind of was leaning towards this one right here. I really like that. I love the stripe, though. I hate to use that stripe up, but that's okay. Because if I use the stripes, then I'm giving this paper up. So I just have to let it go and probably just buy myself another pack of this paper so I will have plenty to choose from. Okay, so we're going to cut the papers. I need one panel that is two and three-fourths by one and three-fourths. 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut, okay, I need two and three fourths to be this way. Okay, so let me just tell you what I just did. I know that this is a tall skinny box, so I need this, and this has directionality. This isn't just random flowers. All the flowers have, um, they all are, they're just like they would be in your garden. The stems are down at the bottom, the flowers are at the top. And I knew that I needed it to fit onto this paper. So I knew that I had to have two and three fourths this way. So now I can do one and three fourths this way and that will give me my front panel. And then I need two that are three fourths by two and three fourths. Force by oh, come on okay and then I need one that is I kind of want to keep this for another box I think I'm gonna do that just put it in the scraps okay now I need one that is three-fourths by one and three-fourths it's gonna go on the top so I need it to be landscape so I'm just gonna cut out a panel that's three-fourths so I'm not cutting a whole chunk of this paper And then I'm going to cut three fourths. I'm going to go this way this time. I don't know if you can see any of that. I've got to get my camera situation. I started zooming in. That's not right. It needs to be one and three fourths. Okay, so it has to go this way. Okay, I'll get this right. I promise. All right. Now I have enough. I can make a whole other box if I wanted to. Okay, the only thing we're going to do is we are going to take the circle punch and we are also going to make sure at the top of our paper we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just cut, we're going to center it visually the best we can. Close enough, it's close enough. We are going to cover a little bit with a sentiment so it's not that big of a deal. And I, I mean, I got it a little bit off, but it's not, it's really not that big of a deal. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere these down. Okay, so now this is the first time I've ever used our new stamp and seal. Bum, bum, bum. I have no idea how well this works. If this is going to be like fuse or snail or different. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh my goodness. The things that make crafters happy. Okay, it's gunking up a little bit on the side. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Going to have to maybe experiment. That's probably the way I'm handling it though. Like I said, I'm, being, I'm a left-handed person and I'm also fighting the sun right now. I got it on there. So I'm just going to go with it. All right, let's put this on. So I'm going to fudge it just a little bit because I got it off center. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and go a little bit and just smidge a little bit of that out. That's better. See, we can fix stuff. Okay. Did you guys hear that bird? That bird is out. Oh, I put the, put the put the adhesive on the wrong side. I do that all the time. <sighs> okay, that's okay. I have more. I'm still gonna have enough to do another box. It'll be all right. Okay, let's do this right this time. And don't get this mixed up. Make sure I have these panels right. Don't let me put adhesive on the wrong part. Okay, let's just do the side panels first. Yeah, I feel like this has to be treated a little bit like the fuse did where you have to kind of whip it off a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's working better. Okay, that means that people are not gonna be happy with it. It's not that hard to do, but you know. Okay, so when we put this together, the top of the top flap is going to come down like this. So because this paper has directionality, I want it to match up with the front. So I'm going to put like this. Okay. I like this adhesive. I don't know if I'm going to give up my liquid glue though. I really, really love that liquid glue. Okay. We're going to switch. I don't know what my cap is. Here it is. We're going to switch gears to um, I'm going to use the liquid glue for this part. Oh, that's a new one. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Oh, here's the... Sorry, so scattered. Here's that paper I was telling you about. So I did have a little scrap left over. That's pineapple punch um, sponge brayered onto white 
Whisper White cardstock that was embossed with a pattern. It came as a paper pad. There were 12 sheets, two of each, diff of different patterns. So that's what I used there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this together. Oops, a little bit too much glue. It's so warm up here, even though I've had the air conditioner running. And so now my glue is like super runny. I guess that's better than having to try struggle with trying to get it to work. I'm going to fold this over, fold this down on top of it, just let it sit for a second, and then I'm going to pull it up and hold it the rest of the time. Maybe go this way with it too. Because I really don't want um, glue to leak out on the sides and cause it to stick while it's laying flat like that. Okay. We're almost done with this part. Okay, so now I just have to pay attention to what is the front and the back of my box. So the back of my box is where this flap is standing up. So that means that I'm gonna wanna lay these little side flaps down, put this one down first, and then bring the front flap here so the seam is in the back, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some adhesive, some liquid adhesive on the flaps. Oh wow, this one, <laughs> okay, hold on. I just had an explosion of liquid glue because, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no, okay, on camera, thanks, glue, this is, okay, this is crazy, I'm just going to have to let that go and find something to wipe it up with, I need wipe. Okay, so what happened is I just pulled that um, shot glass that has my liquid adhesive in it out of the sunlight. And uh, normally I wouldn't use it until it had settled down because I know the heat causes it to flow a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm just kind of trying to share the love a little bit here. Oh my goodness. And I meant to not grab it and I did it anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna push those down and then bring this down. Come on now, everybody, cooperate with me. And then bring this part down. Oh my gosh glue everywhere okay luckily it's easy to work with all right and I'm just going to just um, poke my other glue kind of gently down in there okay so now let's while that's drying oh my goodness okay. <laughs> fun times y'all fun times okay so now what, what are we going to do? Okay, we're going to do this. So I'm using the um, Hello Sunshine from Under My Umbrella, and I'm using this stamp from Thoughtful Blooms. This is retired. This is current. It carried over. This is retired. However, we do have another set, if I can think of what page it's on. Um, I found it earlier, and then I closed it up while I was looking for something else. Hang on. Really, there it is. Basket of Blooms has um, stamps that match also. So, we do have something current to go with this punch, and we're using this small bloom punch that carried over as well. Um, that was part of Celebration, too. Okay, and I'm going to use the Bumblebee ink and the Calypso Coral ink, and I'm going to be using my mat because these are photopolymer. All right, now I went ahead and cut the circle out of that same one and three eighths. Um, probably normally I would do like a stitch circle or something. I was just in a hurry. You can use whatever size circle that you want to. I'm also going to be cutting a piece of bumblebee out of this punch right here. And let me double check and make sure this fits because I used the pretty label. This is story label. I used the pretty label punch on the last one. And let's just use this one. Um, pretty label retired. So I was wanting to use something current. Let's just make sure it fits. I'm pretty sure it does. Because I did another project that had a circle, and I'm pretty sure that's the circle I used. Yep, that's fine. Yay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp Hello Sunshine in Calypso Coral. I'm trying to make sure it's in the shot. There it is. It's hard to see my camera from this angle. Okay, good. That looks good. All right, and then I'm going to stamp the flower in Bumblebee, one of our new in colors. I love the in colors. The last two years, well, the last three years, 
Um, well, actually, most of the time. <laughs> I love the in colors most of the time. All right, good. Get those out of the sun. And I'm going to, where's my punch? Here it is, right here next to me. All right, so what you want to do is you want to pretend like this is like a little man or a little person. Head, arms, feet, and then put that in to the punch that way. Head, arms, feet. And then just center it up then. And punch it out. And sometimes I go ahead and squeeze slightly to hold the paper still before I do the final punch. Make sure it's all lined up. I'm going to have white around the edges evenly. And then I squeeze all the way. Okay. Now, we're going to use the, the liquid glue that's not crazy and just lay that on the center of this. And actually, I want to do it, I want to do it vertically. Okay. And then I'm going to just get a glue dot. If I can find one, all my glue is now back where it's supposed to be in its basket, but it's all just kind of thrown in there. I did not organize it. With my new glue, I have retired glues in here, adhesives. My fuse is in here covered in ribbon fuzz. I'm using that, it's not really fuse, it's what fuse was. Okay, I'm just gonna lay one petal on a glue dot. And then just adhere it right there. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on the back. Oh, but I don't want little dimensionals. I want big fat dimensionals. Oh goodness, they're all stuck to each other. I have got to get organized. Pull it together, Carrie Ann. Pull it together. Okay. And just pull those off. And get rid of this mat too. Everything's melting because it's so hot. I guess I need to turn the air up. Okay. Then that goes right there. Okay, and then I'm going to put some gems down. We have these beautiful basic rhinestone gems. Get my take your pick tool. I'm going to put one of the small ones in the center. Actually, I think I might do a medium one in the center. I think I like that better. Yeah, medium is better. And then I'm gonna put a big one on the bottom and the top. You can use sequins or any color. If you wanna use pearls, you could use pearls would be pretty too. That's just what I prefer. But you can just do what you prefer. All right, and then um, I had Twix, but I don't have any more Twix. It came exactly 37, there were 38 of us, so I didn't make myself one, so I used exactly 37 Twix. But I also bought Starburst, big bag of Starburst, and I pulled all the yellow and oranges out. And so now I have red and pink left for Valentine's Day, or the red for Christmas or whatever. Werther's, um, these are Lifesaver orange flavored mints. They have little orange speckles in them. So you just put some in your box, whatever you wanna put in here. Just load it up with some goodies, bring somebody, some cheer and some happiness and sunshine and how cute is that that is so adorable I love this project I'm looking for my other one that I just had here we go so yeah just made with two different punches you can see this is daffodil the light is a little bit brighter but the bumblebee is still lovely very pretty I love how this turned out so thank you so much for crafting with me today and I look forward to seeing you again next time and have a wonderful day bye bye